Are you thinking about moving to the New York City area? But you don't want to be in Manhattan, you want to be a little bit outside. Well, you might want to consider Jersey City. We're standing here on the Paulus Hook Terminal and we've got a nice ferry coming in about to greet us. And today we're going to do a tour of Jersey City, tell you a little bit more about it, talk about shops and restaurants that you might want to check out, and talk a little bit about real estate. But more so today is really about getting to know the area. We're standing in front of the Colgate Tower, which is home to, I believe, uh, Goldman Sachs. We've also got the famous Colgate clock over there. It was designed by a world-renowned architect. I believe he was from Argentina. This is Cesar Pele, or Cesar Pele. And uh, behind me is the downtown area. Um, and behind here is what's known as Paulus Hook, the neighborhood. We're gonna check out a little bit around more around the outside as we go around here and check out um, the basin area with some beautiful views of Statue of Liberty and so on. From down here you've got amazing views of Midtown Manhattan, of course downtown, and you're really just a short ferry ride. I mean, this ferry takes five minutes from here to the downtown area. Um, this one I think is a private one for uh, Goldman Sachs, but you can certainly get other ones um, on the other side of the marina there, there's another terminal. Um, but again, like five minutes to downtown and it brings you into the World Financial Center where you've got um, really cool, uh, really amazing stuff down there. And obviously you've got the 9-11 uh, Memorial and so on. Um, you can actually see a nice tugboat in the distance there. And um, we're gonna check out today, we're gonna go down Grove Street we're gonna also check out Jersey Avenue, see some of the restaurants over there. Uh, we're gonna stop by the marina and we're going to check out Van Voorst Park, which is right by the library. Just chuck full of things here. I say that a lot, chuck full, but there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Now, if you're thinking about it, it's not a suburb, of course. This is a city, but it's more of a, in my opinion, it's kind of like a stepping stone. If you're leaving Manhattan or maybe you're relocating to New York City, but you don't wanna be quite in the hustle and bustle, you can see here, there's not as many people behind me. Uh, when you walk around the waterfront, it's quiet and uh, it gives you a little bit more privacy. Whereas if you're on the West Side Highway or if you're in Brooklyn Bridge Park, it's gonna be a lot of people. I, I sometimes refer to Dumbo over by Brooklyn uh, Bridge as sort of the Disneyland now because there's so many tourists down there. So what's nice about this area is you've got a lot of privacy. Uh, it's not secluded by any means, but like when you walk when you look and when you walk along this waterfront, it's just very peaceful. Now there's other parts of Jersey City, there's the Heights, there's Journal Square that are a little bit further in. Give a, they're gonna give you a little bit more bang for your buck in terms of real estate prices. Um, but in general, Jersey City, they kind of call it the sixth borough of New York because it's so close. It is its own municipality, obviously, and it's in another state, but it's got so much going on. So. Let's get into the tour, we'll go check out some more and teach you a little bit more about Jersey City. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, then subscribe below and tap notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, my name is Jeff, but team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs. And we love it. So we're gonna move in seven days or seven months. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make a stress-free move to the New York City area. So, as I was saying at the top, we're here in Jersey City. I thought I'd take you over to uh, the marina. This is the Hudson Point Marina, and we're standing in front of Pier House, which is a really lovely condominium complex. They've got two courtyards in the middle, so almost every unit has some nice window views. Uh, but these outer units have great views of the marina. Now this is the Morris Basin Canal, which would have been the entryway to the Morris Canal, which went all the way down into New Jersey, delivering goods in and out. And uh, we're right across from Liberty State Park. You can see, you can sort of see Ellis Island in the distance. I'll do some like close-up shots. And then behind that, you've got the Statue of Liberty. The other th cool thing about the marina area is you've got the Manhattan Yacht Club, and they've got some little starter boats that you can uh, start out learning on. And then they've even got, a, they used to, I'm not sure they still have it, but they ha at one point they had an America's Cup boat uh, that they could take out with multiple uh, members. So you can join there and get, uh, get on the waterfront and see the city in different ways. 
Um, but yeah, in general, it's a beautiful area. One other thing to note, which is way behind me, I don't know if you can see it, is the Liberty State Park Science Center. And they've got a really cool planetarium there, lots of things to do. So right here in Jersey City, you've got everything at your fingertips and you're only a ferry ride away from the city or uh, you could hop on the PATH train and be there in like 10 minutes downtown, 20 minutes to midtown, but lots of cool things to do here. On the tour today, we're gonna check out some shops and restaurants, talk about real estate a little bit, and uh, give you a sense of what it's like to live here if you did choose this as your home. So, let's get into it. So, no trip to Jersey City, talking about restaurants, food, and so on, would be complete without a visit to Raza. You've gotta check this one out. It's the sister restaurant, um, to Arturo's that we talked about in Maplewood and I'll I'll link that video above if you want to check that one out This gentleman here. He used to be the chef over at Arturo's spun off and created his own restaurant It's amazing the pizza the crust is super thin super crispy um, The ingredients are top-notch. It looks like they just got a delivery of tomatoes out front and um, I just can't say enough about it. You've got to queue up here early probably like 430 if you want to get out here and get a spot right away they're gonna open the doors at five and then you'll get a table. Um, but it's it's just amazing. And then next door you've got Luna and uh, it's a cool bar. And I love the architecture on this street. We're right on Grove Street here and um, right at Montgomery and Grove. You've also got a really great wine store across the street, Cool Vines. And uh, right down the street, you've also got a really nice Portuguese place that's kind of at the bottom with a cool garden in the back. If you ever watch Netflix, Somebody Feeds Phil, they stopped here on their New York City visit because it was the last stop and he said, if you want the best pizza, you gotta come to Raza. And here we are. So definitely, if you're in the area, you're gonna wanna check it out. And if you decide to live here, you've got this in your backyard. So something to look forward to. One more thing I forgot to mention, we're right in front of City Hall. So let's go check out some more. So we're over here in the Grove Street District of Jersey City. And right behind me, actually, we have Porta Pizza some really good pizza there. And if you're looking for more of a to-go option, you've also got Two Boots, um, really good bars and restaurants as well. You've got Skinner's Loft right behind me. And um, they're just about to open another Bear Burger down here. There's another one over in Hoboken. So this will be a good one to have in Jersey City. And um, also you've got the Ashford. This opened a couple years ago. Pretty good food and scene there. Now, some of my favorites, if you're looking more like a brunch option, you've got Matthews down the street. Um, Mexican, you've also got a Raleigh, like we saw in Morristown. And there's a really cool bar, kind of almost like a speakeasy over uh, across from Matthews that's called Dull Boy. That's a really cool spot to check out. Um, down the street, you've got Ani Ramen, um, Left Bank Burger, and Barcade. So lots of really cool things downtown here in Jersey City on the Grove Street area. Definitely plenty of things to do and food, drink, things to check out. The other thing that's really cool about Jersey City that uh, as we're sitting downtown is the really great mural works that are down here. They're all over town. I'll show some B-roll of some of the other ones in the area, but this one's beautiful. It's this woman dressed with a sort of a uh, crown of flowers and um, some horns. Really pretty detailed, very detailed works of art for the area. So, something else to consider if you're thinking about Jersey City. If you're looking for a really nice treat, um, one of my favorite places is Choco Pond. They've got amazing uh, macaroons, pastries, that kind of stuff. So if you're looking for a coffee and a pastry, definitely gonna wanna check that out. And if you're here and you wanna pick up some stuff for dinner, you've got Van Hook Cheese Shops. So you could also grab some things there. So some nice delights here on Jersey Avenue. One of my favorite dinner spots in town is the Kitchen Step. This is a really small bistro. It's probably about only 20 seats and um, they've got a really seasonal menu. Uh, also, it's changing all the time in terms of like just daily specials and so on. Uh, definitely chef um, curated, and it's a really nice restaurant if you're looking for something that's special and quiet. Also, on this block here, we're still on Jersey Avenue. You've got some really nice other stores. There's a nice vegan cafe, uh, the Worst Bar, and the Fish Stand. So, Jersey Avenue, as you're heading toward Van Horst Park, um, lots of cool stuff to see, and we're about to check out the library, so let's head over there. So we just arrived at Van Worst Park, and uh, it's kind of a tricky one to say, 
And uh, we're right behind the public library, this beautiful Beaux-Arts building, uh, right dated at 1899, you'll see in the cornerstone. Some beautiful stonework on the, sort of this granite stonework on the corners and sort of a Flemish um, style bond, but it has like an extra wide uh, stretcher. Anyways, not to bore you with brick details, those are sort of my favorite. Um, beautiful copper cornice, and it's right on, right here on the park, and the park uh, is a small like one block park, um, and it's surrounded by these gorgeous brownstones and uh, sort of stylized homes. You've got sort of a Dutch revival here in the corner little um, stepping arches and um, sort of some Romanesque over here in the middle. Uh, lots of just cool brownstones and stuff like that. The homes here are very, very expensive. And you've got the park surrounded in the middle. Uh, you'll see lots of kids hanging out there in the day and stuff like that. Um, but really cool little area um, separate from Paulus Hook. And you've got the uh, amazing amenity of having the library right in your neighborhood. So that's the main public library. Beautiful reading room in there. So definitely something to check out. And the park is a nice little uh, oasis here in the middle of town. So let's talk about real estate while we're here in Jersey City. Now the overall price of a home, and this is across all property types, for Jersey City is 616000 um, Actually, while we're here, I just want to show you this really cool townhouse. Modern build. Very nice styling. I like this corner detail. Check out this corner here. It has a little side yard. I love those windows with a little, sorry, I got distracted there. Now Paula's Hook, where we just were, was um, 904 in the last 12 months. Condos specifically for Paula's Hook were 715,000. There's a lot of condos in that area. And just to give you an idea, other areas like Journal Square, um, those are coming in around 500,000 in the last 12 months and again that's all property types so it depends on if you're looking at a house or a one bedroom it's going to be different uh hamilton park i think when i was checking earlier this morning roughly the last year is about 800,000, and it fluctuates based on inventory so it's kind of hard to give you an exact number but roughly 800,000 for hamilton park uh, we're going to do another video on that soon and you might want to check that out so we're just off the basin and i wanted to point out sugar house this is a beautiful condominium building the bottom, well, most of what you see, one, two, three, four layers, is original uh, loft style factory building. It's called Sugar House for a reason, obviously, because there was probably sugar storage here. Um, and then the top, they built a nice, cool penthouse. So there's some amazing apartments in there, really good ceiling heights with those old loft style buildings. And it's right on the waterfront here. So just one um, of many really cool buildings here in Jersey City that gives you a little bit more space, a little bit more height um, versus like a townhouse or a uh, smaller apartment. So Sugar House, definitely something to keep on your list to look out for new units coming up. Hey, so I'm gonna continue my tour over to Hamilton Park area of Jersey City, but that's actually gonna be in another video. So see you over there in a couple seconds.